A peripheral is a device that is connected to the computer to expand its capabilities. These devices normally fall into either an input or an output category, and sometimes both. Examples of devices that are in the input category would be a mouse and a keyboard, a webcam, microphone, fingerprint scanner, and many others. These devices all input data into the computer in different ways. Examples of output devices are monitors, speakers and headphones, printers, projectors, and many others. These devices all take data that is sent from the computer and process it into a useful form. All of these devices will normally plug into an external port that is on the computer. Let's take a look at the different type of ports that you will find on your computer. The most common type of port that you will find are USB ports. As of the making of this video, USB ports come in both 2.0 and 3.0, with 3.0 being the latest. USB 3.0 is 10 times faster than its predecessor, USB 2.0. Right now you will find computers with a combination of both 2.0 and 3.0 ports. The USB ports that are on the computer will look the same, but the other end will come in many different shapes and styles. The most common USB connected device is a printer. All USB cables that plug into a printer will look like this. If you are plugging in a digital camera or cell phone, your cable will most likely look like one of these. And if you are plugging in an iPod or an iPhone, your cable will look like this. Remember that even though these cables have different ends, they are all USB cables, and the other end of the cable will always look like this. Another common type of port that you will find on a computer is a display port that will output video to a monitor or a projector. There are a few different types of display ports that you will find on computers. The most common display port is a VGA port. You will find the VGA ports on almost every laptop and on most desktops. I say most desktops because the port is slowly becoming replaced with a newer and better port called a DVI port. This port is better because it sends a digital signal rather than an analog signal like the VGA port. You will not find the DVI port on a laptop because of its size. Instead, you will find an even newer and smaller port called an HDMI port, which will look like this. This port also sends a digital signal and also has the advantage of being able to send sound. It is very popular for connecting a laptop to a flat screen TV. The VGA cable can still be used to connect to a large TV but you may notice that there is a lower picture quality versus the HDMI cable and also the lack of sound. The VGA cable cannot be used to transmit sound. In order to hear sound, you will need to plug in speakers or a headphone to a green 3.5 millimeter jack that looks like this. The blue jack is for audio input and the pink jack is for microphone input. Another port that you will always find is a network port. This port will look like a large phone jack, and you will plug in an Ethernet cable that will look like this. The Ethernet port is used for connecting to a network, such as the Internet. The last port that you might find on a computer is an eSATA port, which will look something like this. You will normally only find this port on higher-end computers. E-SATA ports are made for connecting an external hard drive to your computer. These ports are made for high-speed data transfers. It will save you a lot of time when backing up your entire computer to an external hard drive. In the next video, we will take a look at how to install a printer with a USB cable.